Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Well, we have been shopping literally all day long. It's already dark outside. Anyway, Mr. Bucky is going to sleep in the recliner because he's tired. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to show y'all is the different things we got. Now, the books I'm going to show you, we ordered uh, over the internet. But uh, first of all, I've got to fix the screen door. We literally don't even have a screen door. It's just the frame. The screen was out of it when we bought it. So I'm going to use the leftover screen for where I did the uh, storm windows this summer. And I already had the attack, this little thing that rolls that spline in. And so today at Lowe's, we got the spline. And I had to measure the uh, distance uh, where you smash it in and uh, we had to get the biggest one that they had because that was the size I had marked it on a piece of paper with some pencil and just kind of traced it so we'd know exactly how wide. So that takes care of the screen all except doing it, right? So hopefully I can get to that tomorrow. I'm just going to throw those things down there. Now previously Mr. Bucky had ordered all these books and I'm going to just show them to you what he's ordered. Here's one, State Parks, RV Camping and State Parks. He hasn't read this one. He has been doing a lot of looking on this one, the Good Sam one. And we weren't going to do the Good Sam because we had uh, uh, a couple of people say it really wasn't worth it. And um, so we were at the uh, station filling up the uh, RV with the diesel. And the guy behind us was there, and he we were, were dumping our tanks. And not because we had been using them, but because the previous owner had not dumped them. And uh, as we were doing that, he was talking about uh, Good Sam's Club and getting, uh, I think he said, 10% discount on the diesel every time you shop at a pilot uh, truck service station kind of place. And... So anyway, uh, but I think Mr. Bucky had already joined the Good Sam thing before one of the uh, subscribers had written in that it wasn't worth it to them and they were really bothered you all the time, I guess, with emails and stuff. So anyway, that's those two. Put those down there. And free low-cost uh, camping grounds. We got that and it covers the whole United States. It's just like that and tell you all about them and we did the Passport America we did that one yep and I don't know what this one is I've never even seen this one myself RV uh, 2014 to 2016 vacation catalog I really don't even know what that one is and we got the uh, Motor Carrier Road Atlas, and Mr. Bucky has been really looking on this one, and uh, I think that was a good idea. I mean, I don't really know what it tells you. I, he's into that. I, he'll have to do that one. I, I don't know what all that means. And the one that I was doing was this one from uh, the Technomadia. And uh, with uh, Chris and Cherry the Ards, I think it's Technomadia. Anyway, they've got a lot of videos on YouTube. We watch them a lot. And um, I read it, and I read it, and then I reread it. And then I should be an expert now on the technical part of RVs and all that. And I'm not. I'm not. It was a little hard to understand. And uh, so I might have to do some more reading on that. But we do have the TV in the RV, and we're using the little flat, oh, throw that down, the little flat uh, plastic-like little antenna, and it works great. And I, I know that when we, we go to different uh, areas, we'll be getting different channels, but who cares? We don't really, I mean, we mostly watch the news, mostly, and uh, sometimes a movie, although recently we haven't had time to watch a movie at all, 
And uh, let's see what else. Uh, we also got the connection today to connect the computer to the TV so we can both, we, we talked about doing that and we couldn't find the right one that worked on this big TV we've got back in the den. I mean, I call it big, it's 37 inches. The one in the uh, RV is 32 inches. And uh, anyway, we could never make it work with the sound. So we went to Best Buy and uh, we got two the other day because they said, we'll just take both of them since we don't know what will work. And wouldn't you know it, neither one of them worked. So when we got up this morning, Mr. Bucky said, that's it. We are going to Camping World and Best Buy today and Lowe's and we're going to get all this stuff and be done with it and, you know, try to get to the place where we can think about starting our first little trip. So anyway, what we ended up getting, if I can find it over here, is uh, a little thing from uh, Best Buy. I think it's still in the bag here. Let's see if I can get that out. They seal the bag up. What, why do they do that? To keep people from shoplifting or something? I don't know. They seal it up. Anyway, I'll show it to you through the bag. So I have to have scissors to get it off. This is the one that fits our TV and our computer so I can we can plug it up. Now remember we've got the uh, TV on the dash because we've got a really wide dash in that Class A. And so I can sit my computer up there too, or Mr. Bucky's computer, and we can uh, watch YouTube from that. And uh, also we can uh, watch things that we already have on our, inter on our computer and uh, we can rent movies and watch. I mean, if we want to, right? So that's uh, that little connection. We didn't, we, they got them, uh, I think, up to 10 feet, and, but we just got the 6 feet because the computer would be right there beside the TV, so we don't need all that. All right, and the other thing we got was went ahead, because I couldn't find these in Walmart, so we went ahead and got the retractable dog leashes. And I know some uh, cities' ordinances don't allow you to use these in the city because then the dog can go all up in somebody's yard and do their business way up in their yard instead of close to the sidewalk. But anyway, we got two of the, those type of uh, retractable leashes for Steely and Peppy. And we got this because everybody said to get it. Let's see what they call it. The Good Sam GPS. And that was the most expensive thing we bought so far. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a dry cough from being out shopping all day today. Anyway, there it is. That was the most expensive thing. Okay, I won't be back. I've got a cough, y'all. We'll be right back. Okay, we got a, a water filter. And we're really not going to be drinking the water because we will be using bottled water, I'm sure, that get in the big jugs. But we went ahead and got that anyway. Just just, you know, some areas you go in the water is just not good. So we went ahead and got the uh, water filter thing that you put. It's an inline. Uh, you connect it, it with your hose. And so we got that. And our, we got some washers because the uh, when we connected it the other day, the hose to the water connection, it was leaking. So, you know, we just got uh, new washers for that. And we got this connection, which is the 90 degree connection. And I knew to get this from Nomadic Fanatic, because I watch him all the time, uh, because he travels around in, a, in, in Olga, I think is the name of his uh, uh, Class C. It's a Tiago motorhome. I don't know what year. It's an old one, though. But anyway, he was the one that uh, mentioned about this for the water connection. And I did notice when we were uh, putting the hose in, I couldn't do it. Uh, I'm, I don't know if my hands weren't, fingers weren't strong enough or what, but Mr. Bucky had to screw it in. And this would make it a lot better because you screw it from down below. I would think that would make it a lot, lot easier. And this, this uh, uh, to get this, I learned from somebody else's uh, video. I don't remember who it was, but it's a little fan that goes in the refrigerator. And what it does is circulates the air better 
because the the refrigerator doesn't really have a fan like our refrigerators have. And so the temperatures could vary a lot from the top to the bottom. So this circulates the air all around everything. So we got that. And the other thing we got was the thing to prop up the uh, uh, hose for the sewage line to attach that to make it sit up so you can go down so that the, these are graduated at an angle from the highest going all the way on to the lowest so it makes uh, everything will flow through and of course you wouldn't use this really at a dump station but you would use it as a, at a campground because at a, a full service campground you can leave your uh, sewage type hose in there and you can leave your gray water tank open so if you're taking a long shower it'll just go right on through and not just uh, you know fill up your tank so we went ahead and got that and let's see what else I think that's about it for today but anyway what I didn't get was a little plastic tubing uh, to fix that little minute really really little leak under the bathroom sink so uh, I'm gonna have to go probably to Lowe's and get that uh, flexible pipe but I've got to write the number of it down so that's on the to-do list probably tomorrow but here's the other thing I want to show y'all you see all those folders and all those books this is what came in the RV the, the people that owned this before us not the man the man the man that uh, owned it just before us was uh, he had only had it for about 18 months and so the other people had had it a while and it was good to see all these folders because somebody had been very very thorough in, in which makes you think they were very thorough in all of the uh, maintenance also but anyway uh, we found can y'all see that little I highlighted it in red that is the fuel slash water separator so when you have a diesel engine it sometimes there's water in the diesel I didn't know that but sometimes there is and so uh, the de the uh, water and the any debris that might be around anywhere uh, will fall down into this and the reason the water falls down is because the water is heavier than the diesel and so what you're supposed to do is got a little let me show y'all really quick it's got a little uh, I don't know what you call it a little knob or something on the end there and what you do is turn that and that water that had collected uh, will come out and you're supposed to just let that water and any debris out and then close it back up as soon as you start seeing diesel fuel so uh, Mr. Bucky couldn't find it, so, but he did finally find it. And there's another picture in here. So this is the book from 1996 on the operation of the motor and uh, maintenance uh, manual. And then we also have the Freightliner manual, which I don't think Mr. Bucky's even gotten to this one yet. And then we have the Allison transmission booklet and then we have the Allegro little manual and that just sort of is an overview and then we have all the other and we ordered this little manual which is not as thorough as the one that came with it but we had not bought it then and we wanted a manual to know what we needed to do right away in case we needed to do anything now I did find out that the uh, Allegro tank, it says on this little thing that's taped inside that master bedroom closet, it tells you the maximum weight is something like 31,000 pounds. And if I had known that before, it would have really scared me when I drove it for the first time. I didn't know it, so that was good. But I do know it now. And uh, Anyway, I was just reading that little chart, which was from 1996 when, the, when it was manufactured, and it said that the, it holds 150 gallons of diesel. I did not, I mean, I can't even imagine, but that's what it said it holds. So 
Uh, and also, maybe y'all will know this because Mr. Buck and I, neither one can figure it out. When, we're, when we were getting gas, I think it was last Sunday afternoon, uh, you know, we filled up and it, it was only like $85. And I knew that it probably ought to be more than that, even though diesel is cheaper now and even cheaper today than it was even last Sunday. But uh, the man who was filling his tank up before us, it took him forever to fill it up. And we were like, what in the world? Why is it taking so long? And then I thought, well, maybe he's got two tanks because some are some uh, Class A's and other uh, trucks and all sometimes have two get two uh, tanks for fuel. And uh, but anyway, uh, when Mr. Buggy was filling it up, he said it kept cutting off. You know, when it comes splashes back on the nozzle, it automatically cuts it off. And he kept trying to put more and trying to put more. And so we still only ended up with three-fourths of a tank. So I don't know what the deal is there, why, unless he needed to turn the nozzle a different way. I don't know. Anyway, back to this. So we have instructions, on, and this is for the leveling device, and that's uh, really nice to have. And every folder in here, we have got uh, the furnace, the microwave sharp oven, the thermostat, we know how to work the thermostat, all about the hot water heater and the, bless its heart, the TV and the VCR thing that was in there. That's out now. TV antenna. Now some people say we can, because it's got the crank up TV to antenna, some people say you can actually use that with the HD channels now. Oh, and we haven't tried it, but uh, we did find the, the little cord to attach but we're probably not going to do that because everything works great. So if it's working, don't mess around with it, right? Anyway, it's all about the slide out. And I did not know, but all of these, or I guess all of them that have slide outs have a crank in case, like I guess in case a fuse burns out or something happens that you, you can't get your uh, slide out back in, there, there's actually a crank. You can actually crank it in, which was really good to know. And uh, so it's got all the electrical components. And uh, by the way, I bought, we bought fuses today, too. A pack of fuses. I don't know where they are right now. But I know. Oh, there they are. Yeah. So we bought a pack of fuses. Because, see, we might plug something up and not know, uh, even though where we're staying the first time has 50 amp power. Uh, these are the different fuses. And I, we did find that fuse thing. It's under the dash there for most everything. And then I think there's some under the refrigerator, that little panel you take off. But anyway, we got those. See, there are all different colors in there. So that would be uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 amp. I guess is what that means. Mr. Bucky knows that. I don't know that. Anyway, uh, so we got all of that for all the uh, electrical in case, you know, we blow a fuse un unintending to do so, of course. So we, we still haven't read, out, read up about the backup camera. We're going to need to figure that one out. I don't know how to use the cruise control. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was a little bit afraid of it. You know, not really having, I mean, we do it in the car all the time. Even got a booklet on the steps. So all of these different uh, components are from their individual factories. Got a thing on the Fantastic Fan. That, now there's only one Fantastic Fan. The other is just a regular fan. Also, more information on the Cummins Diesel and uh, where you can get service. Now, I'm sure that they've got that online now, and I'm sure from 1996 that probably has changed a lot, a lot, lot. And uh, here's where we knew about draining that was attached there. And, uh, and so I was looking through it, and I said, well, Mr. Buggy, what does this mean? And he said, I don't know what that means. So we looked at it and uh, drain water from fuel slash water separator after each fill up. 
I don't know. We, we didn't know that. So anyway, that's what he was kind of distressed about because he couldn't figure out where it was on the motor. But anyway, we finally found it. So I think that's about it. It's about the tires in here and the awnings. Now they had the awnings replaced in 2006, I think is what they told us. Anyway, the, the awnings are in great shape, really good shape. And um, all about the refrigerator, we've got all kinds of booklets on the uh, refrigerator and installing it and all that. Now the refrigerator works really great and a whole big folder on the generator because, of course, the generator has to be serviced. So you can see they've had, they definitely had the generator service. And then miscellaneous stuff, all about the uh, LP tank and all that. Everything's here. So uh, anyway, we have been real busy reading up on all this stuff. And, you know, better to know it now than have something mess up and then or we mess up something that sounds more like us that we might mess up something because we didn't know so we're trying to educate ourselves so we it, you know we thought we would be able to go on a trip right away we did we did i mean we thought all we would need to do is you know load up the stuff and we're ready to go and we had gotten all the stuff out of the travel trailer because i'd bought dishes garbage can all that kind of stuff for the travel trailer so it was just a matter of picking it up up in mountain rest bringing it here and then loading it up which i did right away it will actually wash the towels and stuff again because they've been sitting up there for a year and uh but anyway we were uh thought we were going to go right away that didn't work so uh, we will be going though hopefully in the not too distant future but we've got to get all these uh, things situated and uh, I've got to get that plumbing fixed and Christmas is coming and uh, we're not ready. We are not ready. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to mention, and y'all might know more about this, but we had been looking into uh, the Verizon and AT&T to see about loading uh, videos because that's going to take more uh, gigabytes, I think, than anything else. And uh, so, you know, at one point I was doing a video every day for, I don't know, almost three years, almost every day, except maybe if we took a trip or something. And, uh, or like when Mr. Bucky was sick and I think of a couple of other times that we uh, didn't do videos. But, uh, and then recently I've slacked up not doing as many. But here's where I think we are on that. I, I, I really um, don't like the way Verizon does that because they really kind of, they don't force you to buy one of those real expensive phones, but they pretty much try to talk you into it. Then you're locked into a two-year contract. I could handle really all of that. But what I could not handle was that uh, I only would get like 20 gigabytes, 30 at the most, and that that would not be enough for me to upload five videos a week, even 10 minutes, and certainly not for a month. And uh, so in talking with some other people and talking with the people at Best Buy, they said the best I could hope for would be about two weeks or about 10 videos that were maybe 10, no more than 20 minutes. And uh, it just didn't seem worth it to me. And so then as I was talking to them, I was asking them about if you upload at a Starbucks or a McDonald's, those seem to be the two places that have the strongest Wi-Fi. So you could definitely go there in the parking lot and, you know, get their code and, you know, buy a hamburger or buy coffee. And, um, uh, upload in their parking lot. So that might be what we'll be doing. I, I just am not sure about the Verizon thing. I, I just don't like to be locked in to a two-year contract, especially if I don't know how what, what the benefit's going to be for us. And it's really mainly me simply because I'm the one uploading the videos. Mr. Bucky was doing some a year or so ago. He hardly ever does any now. And uh, 
So anyway, if y'all know something different, let me know. Now we have uh, certainly checked into the dish and that, that might be an option because we did have dish, well, we still have dish up in Mountain Rest and we might could transfer that contract and get one of those little portable, um, little, uh, what do you call them? Dish, dish, uh, the little portable thing that's on the tripod and you have to put it outside and find the, the southern sky and all that. Where in Mountain Rest, it's all attached and they found it for us and all that stuff. So that might be a better option than, than trying to do Verizon. Because, I mean, we don't, as far as phones go, we don't, we don't use a cell phone hardly ever. We don't ever text or anything like that. And uh, so I'm not sure. I think that would be more expensive than the dish would be. And uh, I do know I uploaded uh, some videos up in Mountain Rest, and a 20-minute video took, I think, roughly 60 minutes to upload. But hey, that's better than nothing, right? And it's probably better than trying to find a McDonald's or a Starbucks, especially since we're not going to have a toad right to start with. We're not going to get a toad in one of those little tag-along cars for a little while anyway. So anyway, that's all I've got, y'all. If y'all know something we don't know about, you know, getting... Uh, Verizon, I mean, it, any way they figured it, it was going to be 200 a month, any way you figure it. And that wasn't going to be enough gigabytes to upload the number of videos I want to upload. So we might be back to DISH as much as Mr. Bucky doesn't like DISH at all. And uh, so we'll just see if we can maybe do that. I mean, if, if we might not have any other option because the Verizon would be definitely more and uh, the most the thing that's going to use the most is when you have something streaming either uploading it or watching videos and uh, I would like to, I like I mean we didn't have any problem watching uh, videos on dish up mountain rest so I'm thinking we might go that option but anyway if y'all know something different uh, let us know uh, I'm just not willing to pay that much a month for the Verizon thing. I'm, I'm really not. Uh, it just doesn't seem worth it at all to me. But And I know the dish would cost much less, and even though it would take more time, I, that might be better. Anyway, I don't know, so we're still you know hashing that around to see what we think. So anyway, that's my video. This is what we've been up to recently. Uh, and if I had to guess, including the TV and the antenna and all that, and other stuff that we've had to buy. I would say, I don't think we've spent a thousand dollars yet, but we're mighty close, y'all. So uh, we knew we were going to have to get some stuff, but uh, we didn't think about the GPS system, which everybody just raves about and says you really need to get one of those. And uh, so anyway, and of course, Mr. Bucky went a little overboard on the books. We probably didn't need all those, but he wanted them, so he ordered them. So. Anyway, that's it. Y'all let me know what you think. And I am going to get back to the cooking, y'all, at some point here. I am. Uh, one of the things I want to do is uh, my grandmother's, I call them apple turnovers. My sister call, said my grandmother called them apple fritters. I don't think it's really a fritter, but that's what my sister says she called them. Anyway, I want to be able to do those and uh, several other things, but I've got to find the time and get things ready to go in the RV. All right, we will see y'all next time. Y'all let me know what you think, okay? Bye for now.